Hey y'all, I'm Wilson Peak. I review mostly LGBTQIA plus movies and series. Dustin Lance Black is a fighter for marriage equality and an Oscar winning screenwriter for Milk, as well as the screenwriter of Pedro, J. Edgar, Eight, When We Rise, and the creator of the series Under the Banner of Heaven. The documentary, Mama's Boy, explores the inspiration for his writing and activism. His mama. I'll review the documentary, then talk about the one moment of dead silence in the sold-out auditorium during the screening that was more than a little eerie. I had the distinct privilege of attending Mama's Boy at the opening night screening and party for the 34th annual New Fest. New Fest is an LGBTQIA plus film festival held every year um, in October in New York City. Hallelujah, because I live in New York City, love movies, and I'm queer. <laughs> New Fest features more than 130 films from 23 countries. More than half of the offerings at this year's festival are directed by women, non-binary, transgender, and two-spirit filmmakers. Two-spirit refers to a person who identifies as having both a masculine and a feminine spirit and is used by some indigenous people to describe their sexual, gender, and or spiritual identity. 64% of the lineup will highlight voices of the disabled, bisexual, and indigenous communities. You can stream most of the films in the festival online. Just go to newfest.org. Dustin Lance Black was in attendance opening night, which was awesome. His presence made the evening even more special. He spoke briefly, explaining that the director, Laurent Buzero, approached him about turning his novel into a documentary, and that once Lance accepted, he took a very hands-off approach. The opening night screening at Newfest was the first time Lance had seen the documentary in full. No, I did not see Tom Daly at the screening. All right, already. Here are some pics. <laughs> you people are incorrigible. Yes, Tom Daly is in the film, and it's super cute to hear his accent. So how was the documentary, Mama's Boy? Without a doubt, Mama's Boy is inspiring. His mother taught him through her example that you can accomplish almost anything you set your mind to in this world. Her life was very tough. Adapted from Black's 2019 memoir, Mama's Boy, a story from, Amer from our Americas, the documentary centers on the story of Dustin Lance Black's mother, Anne, a woman who overcame childhood polio and abusive, abusive marriages, Mormon dogma, to carve out a life as a dedicated mother to three boys and a successful career. She was not only a woman who ultimately accepted her gay son despite religious dogma, but after he won the Academy Award for writing Milk, she uh, inspired him and more like reminded him that he made a promise in his Oscar speech to fight for LGBTQIA plus equality, and she held him to it. You can tell just by looking at Anne that she held a special kind of power. She was also, during his teenage years, deeply indoctrinated in the Mormon church and politically conservative. He always felt like she was going to hate him, reject him, so he stayed away, hardly ever communicating after going off to college. So when his mother arrives unannounced at his graduation with all of his queer friends present, there's a lot of tension because his friends won't shut up about being queer because they automatically assume Anne is an ally because she showed up when their parents may have not. And then Anne does something very, very surprising. She embraces her son. She embraces him. And I hate to include this spoiler, but I believe since this is a positive LGBTQIA plus documentary about Anne, you would assume Anne would ultimately become a champion for the LGBTQIA+. Her reaction, extremely touching and shocking. I was waiting for her explosion that never came, and it was her willingness to walk into a room of people that she did not understand, a room full of people that she had prejudices against, and to walk back out in acceptance 
understanding, and above all, love. And that's the point of the whole documentary and the novel according to Lance Black, a willingness to build bridges between people with different beliefs and political persuasions by way of curious and fair-minded conversation. Now for the eerie moment at the screening. There was total silence in a sold-out auditorium when the people on the screen were celebrating the U.S. Supreme Court's 5-4 decision granting marriage equality. We all feel the threat of this current Supreme Court. Lance told The Hollywood Reporter that we need to stand together now more than ever. I'll quote, Lance says, I have a frustration right now that you can probably sense. He says, we've let this incredible, valuable investigation of our own differences divide us. Increasingly, I see the L's, the G's, the B's, and the T's fighting with one another and falling for it. He says we should investigate our differences, understand them, and know that some of us are going to have it worse than others, and that some of us need to acknowledge that other people have it worse. But on the other side of that investigation, understand this is not the discrimination Olympics. You don't get a prize for having it worse. The prize is surviving those difficulties and having the courage to lock arms and create coalitions that make it so that a plurality of bigots cannot rule us all. After seeing Mama's Boy, Lance Black knows whereof he speaks. He has also written and produced the upcoming George C. Wolfe directed film, Rustin, about the life of gay civil rights activist Bayard Rustin, a true LGBTQ plus icon. That film is expected in 2023. All right, y'all, I'm giving the documentary Mama's Boy five stars for Anne. I'm thankful Lance Black is out there fighting for us on behalf of his mama. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts about Mama's Boy in the comments section. And until next time, check out New Fest. And always remember, living well is the best revenge. Yeah.